In this video, I intend to take a part of LCM that I did not touch in the previous video. Now we've got this question, find the LCM of 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, 2 times 3 times 5, and 2 times 2 times 7. Leave your answer as a product of primes. Alright, to make it very easy for you to solve a question like this, I'm going to list the steps. So we have step 1, write the numbers given. Step 2, put them in index form. Step 3, write out the highest power of each number. Step 4, multiply. So let's put these um, steps into work. So we have this question, find the SCM of 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, 2 times 3 times 5, and 2 times 2 times 7. So remember, the first step, write the numbers given. So I write the numbers given. 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Then I have 2 times 3 times 5. Then I have 2 times 2 times 7. Do you understand? Now the next step is to put them in index form. So let me put them in index form. What that means is that how many twos do I have? I have two twos. So I have two raised to power two times how many three do I have? One. So I can put three raised to power one. How many five do I have? One. Do you understand? For the next one, I have two raised to power one, three raised to power one, five raised to power one. For the next one, I have 2 raised to power 2 times 7 raised to power 1. Do you understand? So, next step is to write out the highest power of each number present and multiply. Now, what's the highest power of 2? 2 raised to power 2. So, I write it out. Times, what's the highest power of 3? 3 raised to power 1. Times, what's the highest power of 5? 5 raised to power 1. Times, what's the highest power of 7? 7 raised to power 1. Does that make sense? So it means that the LCM equals to 2 raised to power 2 times 3 raised to power 1 is the same thing as 3. 5 raised to power 1 is the same thing as 5. 7 raised to power 1 is the same thing as 7. And this is our answer. Do you get? So you write out the numbers given, put them in index form, Write out the highest power of each number and multiply them together. You get your LCM. Does this make sense? Let's take another question. So we have this question. Find the LCM of 3 times 3 times 5 times 7, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, and 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. And we are told to leave our answer as a product of primes. So let's solve this. We follow this step. Write down the numbers given. So we have 3 times 3 times 5 times 7, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, and then we have 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. Next step, put them in index form. So we have, how many 3's do we have? 2. 3 raised to power 2 times, how many 5 do we have? 1. Do you understand? 2, we have 2, 2. So 2 raised to power 2 times 3 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power 1. Do you understand? Now for this we have how many twos do we have? One. How many threes do we have? Two. Do you understand? Now write out the highest power of each number and multiply. What is the highest power of two? We have this. So we have two raised to power two times what is the highest power of three? We have three squared. So three raised to power two times what is the highest power of five? Five raised to power one times what is the highest power of seven? 7 raised to power 1. Do you understand? So it means that my LCM equals to 2 raised to power 2 times 3 raised to power 2 times 5 because any 3 raised to power 1 is that thing times 7. And this is my answer. Does this make sense? Let's take another question. 
So we have this question, find the SM of 2 raised to power 2 times 3 times 7, 2 raised to power 3 times 5 times 7, and 2 raised to power 2 times 5 raised to power 2 times 7 raised to power 2. And we are told to leave our answer as a product of prime. Now let's solve this. Now if you look at this question, they've helped us to put the numbers in index form. So it's like it's um, easier than the former or previous questions. So we list them. We have 2 raised to power 2 times 7. We have 2 raised to power 3 times 5 times 7. We have 2 raised to power 2 times 5 raised to power 2 times 7 raised to power 2. Now because they've helped us put the um, numbers in index form, we skip step 2 and we move to step 3. Write out the highest power of each number. Now if you look for 2, the highest power is 2 raised to power 3. So we write 2 raised to power 3 times 4, 5. The highest power is 5 raised to power 2. So we write 5 raised to power 2. For 7, the highest power is 7 raised to power 2. So we write 7 raised to power 2. So it means that the LCM equals to 2 raised to power 3 times 5 raised to power 2 times 7 raised to power 2. And this is our answer. So do you understand? Anytime you are given a question to find LCM of numbers and they write them as product of primes, you go through this step. Number one, list the numbers given. Number two, put them in index form if they are not in index form. Number three, write out the highest power of each number present and multiply. As simple as ABC. Do you understand?